Hey. Hi, Angelo. Nice Hi. to see you again. Nice to see you again. Yeah, you seem upset. Is anything, is anything bothering you? Yeah, I'm very happy with something. Sure, what is it? You know, I've been dating my girlfriend since like last October, and you know, I'm gonna have to go back to Japan at the end of this month. So it's gonna be like a long distance relationship, and I don't think this will be like long distance, like last long. So it's kind of frustrating. Yes, it's really frustrating for you guys. And yeah. by the way, I have a question. What is the year in your Japan University? Oh, I should turn 30 years, but I have one year and three semesters left. Is your girlfriend from Canada? Yeah, she's from here, but she's mixed like half Canadian, but half Swedish. Okay. Um, so you will come back to Japan and she will stay in here yeah, in Victoria? Sorry. So, it's really challenging for you guys to have a long distance relationship, but it's possible. Okay. Why don't you communicate more regularly? Mm -hmm. you, can, you can call and contact with each other every day. You can use your phone calls, uh, video chat, messages. Even though you are not together mm -hmm. uh, physically, you can uh, speak with, with each other. You can contact and make a time with each other. Yeah, that's right. And I've thought about it, but you know, there is a significant like time differences between Japan and Canada, like for 60 hours. So I don't like it's kind of hard to contact each other consistently. And it's the most annoying thing for me. And like, uh, like it, it's gonna be hard because I'm gonna be busy and she's gonna be busy too. Yes, I see. I see, you guys. And uh, <clears throat> what about planning your future meeting mm -hmm. um, to see each other? For example, in uh, in the city or in the country, we can choose city or country, and it would be a good idea to visit uh, <clears throat> interesting places together in three or six months after your departure. Mm -hmm. And you can go everywhere. For example, to ca in Canada, in uh, United States, or in Europe. Uh, and remember, knowing about um, yeah. uh, knowing about your future meeting can help you with separation stress. Yeah, that's right. Well, those are really good ideas, but, you know, we are still students, so, you know, I don't think this relationship will last long, so, I don't know, like, if it's this long, like, it's worth to pay for such an expensive trip, and I'm kind of disappointed with me that I can't make that clear if it's, like, serious relationship or not. Yes, if I were you, I would have a future goal, mm -hmm. uh, getting married. Okay. And uh, if or if your relation not serious, just a breakup with her. Okay. Don't forget, a long distance relationship is really challenging for you guys, and um, uh, you need just decide uh, if your relationship is serious. Mm -hmm. um, you you can continue your relationship, and the easier you get married with her mm -hmm. eventually, yeah. or just don't waste the time and break up with her. Yeah, that's true. Well, but those are really good ideas. Well, thank you for your advice, and I will try to continue your relationship and follow your advice. Well, actually, my girlfriend is studying abroad, studying next September in Taiwan, so it might be a good chance to meet up hard with her again. Yes, it's a good chance to meet up with her. Yeah, it is. Well, thank you for listening to me. Yeah, you are welcome. Yes. Good luck and let me know how it goes. Yeah, thanks. I will let you know. Bye. Thank you.